Okay, we are back. We're back. We're back. So we're going to share it now, now that I've got it done correctly here. For some reason, uh, there it is. I goofed up and, and had the wrong uh, information on that one. But we're back. So And I saw there was a couple people that had come on live, so hopefully you'll jump back in. But while we're waiting to get started, we're going to share this out to all of our friends and families on other groups, uh, ones that will allow us anyway. What, what, I, I shared this. Now, last week we talked about uh, Facebook cover videos, and it was a business-related thing. And I shared it to a, a group that's like uh, business sharing stuff or whatever, and they, uh, they deleted it on us. And I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. No it's, like, it's not like we're oh. shilling a product or anything like that. We're doing a podcast about business in a business networking group. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess that's what happens sometimes. Gomer is the admin. Gomer Pile. So give us a second here while we share this out to the world. Let everybody else join in on all the fun. I'm still going to put it in some of these other groups anyway because it is business related. Pay attention, folks. Snow Valeria Small Businesses. They might have thought it was just like a solicitation or something, and maybe that's why. Guess we'll find out, huh? Local businesses and services. You should ask. You should ask them if they know who you are. Yeah. Don't you know who I am? I always love when people use that one. I actually, um, no, we actually had that no, uh, years ago uh, when I ran the movie theater. I ran a movie theater in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. And we had a, um, a guy who was one of the anchors for uh, Channel 10 in Providence, which is the big station in, in Providence. Um, but he was like the third string anchor who did like, you know, when somebody else was half dead or Sundays or something, you know, stuff like that. Like he was, and, and he's kind of like an affirmative action case. He was re this really weird guy. So I think they gave him the job because they felt bad for him. Uh, he wasn't very good. He talked funny. Yeah. And, I mean, like he literally talked funny. I mean, tiny talk like that. They, somehow he was the anchor at the biggest station <laughs> in, in the area. But um, he came in and, and he, he wanted to, he had bought his ticket and he wanted to, there's a big line to get popcorn and he wanted to get up to the front of the line. And so he talked to me, he pulled me aside because I was one of the managers. He's like, can I get to the front and get popcorn? I said, yeah, you just have to stand in this line right over here. And I knew exactly who he was, by the way, because, you know, I, I, you know, I knew who he was. I was in the TV business at the time, too. Yeah. Um, so I knew who he was. Yeah. And he didn't know that, though. But I said, yeah, you can stand in line with everybody else and wait for the popcorn. And he looked at me and he goes, don't you know who I am? And I looked at him. I said, yeah, aren't you that guy they allow to do, like, Sunday evenings when nobody else would do the news? And I turned around and I walked away. And that was my little story. That was a good one. I, I, had, I, I heard of a similar story from, like, 1980 <laughs> through 98. I worked at uh, part-time at Z92 in Omaha, which is the, like, you know, rock station, hard rock station. They're third or fourth in the market. They've got... A five or six share. I mean, they do okay, you know, 100,000 watts signal tall tower, but it's just a radio station for crying out sure. loud. And, um, you know, so there was this gal who worked middays, and somebody told me this story, one of the other part timers there, because we all kind of banded together. She went to the cleaners, and uh, her. Uh, she she uh, she was supposed to pick her stuff up on Monday. She went there Saturday and wasn't ready. And she said, Don't you know who I am? Now, she's the midday chick at the rock station in Omaha. And uh, the <laughs> Korean couple, they looked at her and said, No. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> no. Like it matters, right? Like it matters. Yeah, and, Sorry, and, sister. And then, the, and then dad looked at mom and said something in Korea, Korean, and they kind of shook their head like they were confused. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes that, that backfires. Really we yeah. our 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 movie theater was uh, right up the street from the the Patriots Stadium, <clears throat> so the Patriots used to come in all the time, and and there were some that were really nice, and there were some others that, like I remember Drew Bledsoe coming in and being like, "Hey, hey, can you sneak me in? I don't want anyone to see me." And he was kind of a jerk about it to the one guy who was also another manager, so uh, he would say. So he st stood there, and as people were going by, hey, Drew Bledsoe's in Theater 3. Drew Bledsoe's in Theater 3. Drew, Drew, Drew Bledsoe's in Theater 3. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast, suckers. 
Yeah, Drew Bledsoe is in Theater 3. That's and for those of you who are older than that. 30, Drew Bledsoe used to be a, a probably, at the time he was considered to be probably the best quarterback, at least for a little while. Um, he, he got injured. He got injured in like 2002, and his and backup, Tom Brady. Yeah, yep, his backup him, was a guy named the, Tom Brady who was never supposed to play, uh, you know, was never supposed to really play at all. He was supposed to carry the clipboard. And he got to get in there and won the Super Bowl that year and never looked back. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and he thanked Drew Bledsoe like for getting injured. He was picked in like the 50th round or something out of No, it year, wasn't so. that bad. <laughs> it, was like, it was like the fifth round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, some, it was, it was a couple rounds in. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was. Yeah, I thought you said yeah. the 50th round. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. So I'm being a wise ass. But it was, yeah, it was, he was not highly touted. Uh, because uh, here's the funny thing, and people don't, don't, don't realize this a lot of times, uh, Tom Brady was not the starting quarterback at his college team either, at least right. for most of his career. But he, Senior, you know, he yeah. he was there with a, another really good quarterback, and so he got a lot of the rub on that, and and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, it's not like he was this big college star either. So it was a it's a very strange story with old uh, with old Tom. Got his first win as a Buck last week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you got, it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Yeah, it's it's tough for me because now I got to root for two teams. Well, you got Cam. I and do, I, and actually, I really, Cam. You know, I, the, obviously, the Patriots didn't win this past weekend, but what a game that was! And and he played really, game. really well. He played very well. I thought well. he did too. He he almost did that 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 Tom Brady last second win thing too. It was pretty darn close. Yeah, you, you know the the quarterback draw like that or whatever they call that. I think it's the read option. They should have called something else. I mean, the Seahawks were like, "Well, oh, this is what they're going to do." You know, line up for it. And, yeah. Well, and the the thing with that too is the 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 Patriots should have already had another touchdown anyway because they were they were less than one yard away and they could not punch the ball through. Oh, that one! On that, yeah. that play they yeah. absolutely should have gotten yeah. through on there, and that would have changed. And the they entire were game, running but. all over. They were they were kind of run, no. That was the Seahawks. No, they they, they, they just the hit a wall. Defense. They they tried to get they tried they to punch wall. through, and they didn't even really get close. In fact, I think he might have even technically lost a yard on that if it wasn't fourth down already. But. Uh, you know, oh, it wasn't. It was third because then they kicked it. But um, you know, what hey, what are you going to do? All right, believe it or not, everybody who's listening, we haven't even started the show yet. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we're just right. doing our banter while we shared this with the rest of the interwebs. So I think we should probably get this show started. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about reputation videos today, what they are, how you can make them, why you should make them, and why they're really cool. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it. So, Steve, are you ready? Indeed. All right. Then with that said, let's get started in five, four, three. On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to talk about reputation videos, what they are, what they're for, how you can use them, and why you want to. And today's episode is actually made possible by, well, here's a shocking name, Rep videos. That's right. We're going to talk about reputation videos, and it's brought to you by Rep videos. Now, if you don't know what Rep videos is, you're going to learn a lot more about this whole thing in a, in a few minutes. But Rep videos is actually a platform that creates videos from five star reviews that your company has received already. And not only does it make videos, it distributes them out. So it'll send it out and syndicate it to all the different video and social media channels all at once. And it has a whole bunch of other cool features as well, including features to help you to sell the product and tons and tons of training on top of that. And I don't just mean training on rep videos. I mean, just training on sales and everything else in between. It is an amazing platform. Uh, so if you want to start your business with reputation videos and, and starting to make them quickly and easily, well, check out rep videos. You can actually watch the webinar that we did by heading on over to raiselinks.com slash rep videos replay. So you can see the replay of the webinar. And with that, let's hit that funky music. Here we go. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, I'm Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He 
He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper. Sleeper. And our Sleeper. And our homepage is govmm.com where you can get social with, with us and subscribe on your favorite podcatcher which seems to be apple podcasts and if you do that be sure to leave a five-star review yeah i mean i guess there's a you few people that use those android things and use something else but whatever are those people smart enough to even find a podcast Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. oh that's gonna be fun ouch out oh, we just lost Ooh. half our audience both of them have have turned it off yeah yeah <laughs> so this rep videos thing is this uh different from david sprague or uh? well it the id the rep videos rep video i mean that is the david sprague thing so that's what's made this show possible but reputation videos in general is more of a concept uh and that's what i want to talk about and realistically to do reputation videos you don't necessarily need a product like rep videos to do that however it's going to make life a whole lot easier for doing that and so that's why we uh decided to have them be the beautiful company that will make it possible for us to do this today so head on over to their website and check it out but no reputation videos um if you've if you've never listened to the show before uh or if you haven't listened in a while or or just starting to listen to us uh we recently bought a local business so for the last I don't know. How old am I? 50 years? I don't know. Uh, we've been doing things with local businesses, helping them to market their business, do videos for their business, reputation, all that kind of stuff. And then recently, I actually purchased a local business. It's an escape room. So those of you that are in the uh, greater Atlanta area, if you need an escape room, come on down. Escape Plan, Georgia. Shameless plug. Anyway, um, <laughs> the idea is that... You know, one of the things that we did for all those businesses were the reputation videos. And the concept behind a reputation video is actually really simple. So somebody leaves you five-star reviews on a place like Google or Yelp or even Facebook. Uh, it could be on, on uh, uh, TripAdvisor. It could be on really any site, Hot Frog. You can take those five-star reviews and turn them into a video with the idea being that you're going to get some juice out of the fact that you've got a five-star review. So if somebody leaves a five-star review for you on TripAdvisor, that's going to show up. People are going to see that. It's going to be great, and it's going to be very helpful. They do it on Google. Same thing. They're going to see those five-star reviews. They're going to read it. They're going to love it. They're going to come in. Well, what you want to do is you want to take those five-star reviews, and you want to promote that to the world of, hey, don't wait for them to find it by searching. Stick it in their face and be like, hey, look at this five-star review. This is what they thought of us. You should come in too. And so what you do with that is you can do that in a few ways. You can make still content or you can make videos out of it. And we're today we're just talking about the videos, but it's the same concept. So you're going to take what was in that five-star review and turn it into a video or into static graphics that you can then share with you, you know, with your audience. You can put it on YouTube, you can put it on Facebook, you can put it on other social media, you can put it on your own website, etc. And it's just going to help people to learn more about your business and why your business is a great business. And we've been using that for the escape room. Now, I will admit, I, I've been using rep videos, the actual program, so not just the concept, the actual program from David Sprague. And I will admit, um, it's kind of funny to see them when they're talking about an escape room because it's so much different than like a bank or a, a plumber or a lawyer or a dentist. So when you when you see the, uh, you know, we really appreciate our customers and uh, it just sounds so professional for something that's, you know, you're going to come in and, and see, you know, bloody zombies and, and whatever inside a, hit, a room that you're locked in. You know, it, it, it just, it, it's kind of a, a funny contrast, but it works very well. And the great thing about it is it provides you with content that you probably wouldn't already have. And so the idea here is that you're going to be promoting that five-star review, but at the same time, you're creating the content that you probably need in order to help market that business more. Because I'll tell you, when we took over this business here, um, I did actually find some videos that they had done here and there, and I actually did put those onto YouTube so that we had content on there, but there wasn't much, and it really wasn't that great. So we would have had a YouTube channel for promotional purposes, but it wouldn't have had a lot on it. However, 
with doing the reputation videos, now we're constantly getting new videos in there that are very easy to produce, easy to get out there. Um, you know, they don't take a lot of production in order to do them. And especially if you're using something like Rep Videos, the program, you don't have to do anything really. It's just going to pull those reviews in automatically. It's going to make a video and it's going to distribute it out for you without you even touching it, which is, which is kind of cool. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But the idea here is you're going to get content that you wouldn't have had otherwise so that you can put it on YouTube, you can put it on Twitter, you can put it on Facebook, you can put it on Instagram. So what exactly is the reputation video? How is it put together? It's actually really simple. It doesn't have to be a complex thing. In fact, I've seen other businesses that, that do reputation videos where literally they're just taking a, an animated background and putting the text on there. And that's all they're doing. So they get you know some sort of nice animated background. They put the text of the five-star review on there with the person's name and the star rating, and they're done. Now that's really simple, and there's nothing wrong with that. That'll work pretty well. It's not the, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's content and it works. And all you'd have to do to put that together is go into your web uh, your uh, your video creation tool, whatever it happens to be, whether you're using Final Cut or Hit Film or Premiere or even iMovie or you know whatever it is. Camtasia would be good for this too. Uh, uh, ScreenFlow, any of those will, will work really well with this. Just go into that video editor. First of all, go to go to Google or wherever you're going to get the review from and actually copy the actual review. So just copy what they said, maybe put it in, a, in one of those little uh, note thingies on your computer, sticky note things, and just leave it to the side. Go into your video editor, find a nice animated background that you can use or even a still background. Put that into your timeline, set that video up for a good you know, 20 seconds or so, and then take that text, use whatever text tool is in there, put that in there. If you've got animation, like Camtasia has some really cool uh, pre-built animations for text, so does um, Adobe Premiere has some of that, Final Cut has that, ScreenFlow, so any of those, use those th things to make it a little more interesting so that the text kind of types onto the screen or what have you. And you'll have this really nice video where people can read what Mary J said about your business three months ago. And then you can take that video, you can put it on your YouTube channel, make sure you create a playlist specifically for uh, review videos, and then that way all your review videos can be together and you can have a nice playlist where you can then advertise the playlist itself. Um, and then just keep doing that on occasion, you know, maybe once a week, maybe twice a month, whatever it is that you want to do it for. Um, we do uh, right now, because we've got a lot of reviews, so I do a couple a week. I'd probably do, you know, I think I stagger them out throughout the month so it comes out to about two and sometimes three a week that will go out uh, these rep videos will go out doing that onto our YouTube channel and whatnot and it just provides us constantly with content that's on there now you can take this even further if you want um, one of the things that you could do is you could have either yourself if you're comfortable doing it or you could have somebody that you know that's willing to do it get on camera and actually talk about the review and say hey this is John from Escape Plan Georgia and you know we love when people come in and play our games but we love it even more when they enjoy themselves so much that they leave a review let's take a look at this review that was left for us recently and then it can go to that text and whatnot and then you want to have a call to action at the end so at the end it can be like hey you know, this review was really good. If you want to have an experience like this, come on down to Escape Plan Georgia where you'll be able to get in on the action and have fun with your family and friends. Visit www.escapeplanga.com or call us at blah, blah, blah and just fill it out and have a nice call to action. And that's going to be an even better video. And I'm willing to bet, by the way, and I haven't done this, so um, I'm going to say I'm willing to bet, but, you know, with tentative, there's probably people on Fiverr that will even make these for you. There's probably people that are already doing this where you, they, they'll do a reputation video. If not, you can definitely find somebody that does simple videos. Just tell them what you want to do and they'll charge you accordingly for that. And you can get these created pretty easily. Pop them up there and boom, you've got a nice video that you can then share. Make sure you do share it too, by the way. Get it onto Twitter. Get it onto Instagram. Get it onto Pinterest. Get it onto Facebook. Get it onto Plurk. Wherever it is that you want to get it out there, get out there and do it. Right, Steve? Exactly, Ray. And uh, one thing that I do, I, I do these from time to time just to build up a little authority for my attorney clients. I just do it straight in PowerPoint. I've got Camtasia. Yeah. I open up a PowerPoint, do it there, and looks fine. You know, Absolutely. That's another little, great way to do it. Yeah, I, got, I can even do a little animation in PowerPoint and, you know, 
all you have to do is Google how to do whatever you want to do, and there's articles on it, and it's pretty simple. They, they yep. look fine. And what I've got is, uh, in the beginning, like five stars, and they twinkle a little bit, and then I've got a computer screen with, with a review on it, and then the call to action at the end uh, with a, you know, uh, uh, I, I use just a template for all this kind of stuff. Looks fine. Nice. Yeah, and, and like I said, I, I use David Sprague's Rep Videos program. And again, you can, you know, down below it, we got it in there, but it's raiselinks.com slap, slap, slash Rep Videos Replay. And you can watch the webinar we did where we show you all about it. But what's great about that program is um, whether it's for your business or you've got a client, you put that client in there one time with their name, address, phone number, all their information. You kind of set up how you want these to look, and there's a few different options like colors and add your logo and all that kind of stuff. And then you just tell it how often you want to do this, you know, pick dates and what whatnot. And what it's going to do is it, you'll press a little button. It's going to bring in all of their five-star reviews from the top review sites. So not just Google. It's going to bring it in from Yelp and whatnot. And what will happen is it's on the dates that you tell it, how often you tell it, once a week, once a month, it's going to go grab one of those five-star reviews, make a video for you, and then distribute it out. So you don't have to do anything at that point. In fact, um, with, with some of our clients that do these, I mean, we set up an entire year of these all at once. So we sit down for an hour and set up an entire year's worth of these, assuming they have enough reviews to do that. Now, most clients do one a month, so they only have to have 12 reviews, but for the, some of them do 52 because it's once a week, so they need to have at least 52. But we can set up the entire year just by going in and, and setting these up. Now, what's great about these two is it's not just the review. There's actually a spokesperson, like we talked about earlier, that have already been pre-recorded, and they randomly get set up into the program. So, um, you know, it'll start off with that... Um, that, that stand up with the spokesperson, then it will have the review, and then it'll have the spokesperson again and, and a call to action at the end. And it's a beautiful video, and it just puts it out there, looks great, and it works quick. And again, you can set up an entire year's worth in, in an hour, and that's what's really great. So if you're doing this for a client, if you've got this program, like literally we've got clients and, and they pay us hundreds of dollars a, a month to do these, and we can set the entire thing up in, you know, an hour for the whole year. And so that's a really, really cool thing. And, we, and I like that a lot. But in addition to that, it also does all your distribution. So it puts it onto YouTube. It puts it onto um, uh, Daily Motion. It distributes it out to Facebook and to Twitter and to Instagram and, and whatnot. So these things get put Plurk. out all over the internet. Yep, it doesn't do Plurk. Um, but you get it all over the place. And you don't have to do anything with that. And, it, and it's a really good thing. And then on top of that, and again, we're turning, it's like an infomercial here now, but uh, the other cool thing about it is it teaches you not only how to do all of this, but it teaches you how to find and get the clients and close the clients and gives you a whole bunch of strategies for doing that. So if you wanted to do this for clients, they show you exactly how to find the clients, what to say to them, what to show to them. It gives you presentations and everything to get them to jump on board with doing that. And that's what's really cool. So... Um, you know what what I really like about it as as far as just a really uh, hard and fast rock solid benefit it is mm -hmm. especially with the David Sprague thing because you yep. can set it all up in an hour it's a very easy way to create backlinks and citations and there there is a very very good benefit for that in that it's going to help their GMB rank, it's going to help their website rank. So I really like it for that. Yeah, it, it's a, it, it's a really really big help. It does a great job, and like I said, it's just it's it's easy to do. I've been doing it for a long time, uh, and even now, you know, where I, I have to admit, we're not with the COVID thing and and all the you know the efforts that we we're putting into finding clients and everything, and with buying a local business where we're now here all the time. Um, I'm not doing a lot of recruiting for new clients but oh. all the clients that i have are on it and it runs itself mm -hmm. pretty much and so we you know we just sit there and let it go and uh you know it does a great great job but the whole point is these reputation videos they're going to help you to get your word out there so that people know more about you how well you're doing and then it's going to allow uh, you to you know get better rankings. It's going to allow you to get that out there. It's going to give you the content and you know just more places for people to find you, to find your reputation, and hopefully buy from you. Nice and easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. So very, very good. Yeah, so again, like if that. you got reviews or if you got a client with reviews, you should be doing this. And the same thing with, you know, take take those reviews, bring them into Photoshop, make still images out of it, and distribute those out as well. Um, on our you know, the escape plan Facebook page, the rep videos go out. The uh, reputation, you know, the the the, repu- the uh, five star reviews go out in graphic form, you know. So we, we do all of it. We do all of it to make sure that all of this stuff gets out there as best as possible. So cool, yeah, good stuff, fun stuff. Yes, yes, good. Times. Indeed, indeed. But Corn big thing, powder. big takeaway is you got to get out there and do it. And this is a way to build content quickly if you don't have a lot of content to use. Like in here, until we start really shooting more videos and everything, we don't have a lot of video content to use. So now we just have to, you know, we can use that to make sure that there's still constantly content going out there. And we like that. Cool. Because that's the way it is. That's the way we like it. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, Steve, with that, I think we've given the people everything that they need. That's right. Except for one thing. I, what's that? This show was made possible by Rep Videos. So if you want to start making reputation videos and you want to start making them fast and easily, well, Rep Videos will help you to do that. Not only will you be able to make videos from your five star reviews automatically, and of course for your clients, not just for you, but you'll also be able to distribute it out to all of the top video sites, and you'll get tons and tons of training on how to use the program as well as how to sell it to local businesses. It really is, and I hate to say it, the cliche is coming, it really is a business in a box. Even though there is no box. Ooh. Unless you count the computer ah. as a box. Ah. Then it's a box. But it well, is well worth it. In a it. Box. You could put it in a box, maybe. You, you could get one of your old uh, shoe boxes. There you go. And put some stuff in there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, with that, Steve, another another episode of Video Marketing Madness in the can. Whew. Whew. Good stuff. Thank goodness. Yeah. So until next time, I'm Ray the Video Guy for Steve Sleeper saying you have to listen to this song. One more time. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. Okay. Oh, nope, wrong button. Ha, ha.